In this video, I have a step-by-step -step guide to getting started on Twitter for your business. Coming up next. Hi, I'm Josh from the University of Laverne Small Business Development Center, and here we provide small business owners with free one-on-one -on -one consulting and free marketing guides just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. At first glance, Twitter may seem like a never-ending wall of noise, but if you're serious about using Twitter as a marketing channel, then you need to know how to properly set up your account. So let's get into the step-by-step -step guide for starting your business on Twitter and stay to the end for some pro tips on leveraging Twitter for your business. First, let's head to twitter.com, click sign up to get your account started. Type in your Twitter username, also called the handle, and then add your email and your own birth date, even if it's for your business. So now that your account is created, we need to build out your brand on Twitter. To do this, you need to add a bio that explains your business. A profile picture, it can be used as a logo or another brand image, and finally a header photo of your location or other scenic picture. Now that you have all that done, let me show you how Twitter works. Posts on Twitter are called tweets and have a limit of 240 characters. These can be text, photos, links, and even video clips to get through to your followers. Including things called hashtags can be used to make tweets easier to discover based on those keywords you wish to use and using targeted hashtags that use your business name or a campaign name will get your business found on Twitter. If you want to call out other users using at mentions with a Twitter handle to connect your tweets to other users to collaborate. Twitter lists are a curated list of users to keep an eye on. You can use these for favorite influencers, collaborators, or news sources. And really those are the basics of using Twitter. So let's transition over to some pro tips for you to use for your business. Tip number one is to leverage your visual media for your tweets. Most tweets are text, so incorporating visuals like photos, GIFs, or videos will allow you to stand out from everyone else. Tip number two is to consider Twitter for customer service. Encourage customers to tweet you questions that you can answer and build your authority on the platform. You can then take those things offline for more individual care through phone or email. Tip number three is to leverage Twitter lists. Using Twitter lists can be used to track specific accounts like I said before, but did you know that you can track competitors on the platform? You can easily make a competitor Twitter list. Just make sure that these lists are private so you don't give away your edge. And tip number four is to use tools. Now tools for Twitter can make the platform a lot easier to use for your business. Hashtagify is a free tool you can discover hashtags, popularity, and influencers who use it, and other web analytics in a visual way. Just head over to the site, enter in a hashtag, and get all the information you need, including discovering more hashtags. The other must-have tool is TweetDeck on desktop. TweetDeck is a dashboard and scheduling tool developed by Twitter themselves. This has all the functionality of a regular account and you can connect multiple accounts to manage them simultaneously. You can then schedule your tweets and execute a strategy without spending too much time on the platform and focus on your business. And that's how you can get started on Twitter for your business. The key is to have a strategy on Twitter, as with all social media marketing. Taking advantage of tools and tactics can leverage Twitter for your business. Check out my blog post on 10 ways to use Twitter for your business in the description below. Our small business blog has a variety of topics to help small businesses, and you can easily subscribe to the blog with the link below. Are you ready to dive into Twitter for your business? Are you already using Twitter? And do you have any tips of your own? Let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, give us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell to get updates on all of our new videos to grow your business through digital marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.